Welcome to the channel, folks. Clunkers and Classics. Today, this morning, we are on the way with my uh, co pilot puppy here. And uh, we're going to pick up, I don't know if it's going to be a clunker or a classic, but uh, it's a classic clunker. So it just popped up on uh, Facebook Marketplace, and it's a 76 El Camino, and I'll post a screenshot of it here after I finish talking this segment, and you can pause it and read it if you want, but I'll just go over it real quick. Uh, it's supposed to be an original owner, parked in 1985. Now, the reason I got parked, this guy says he could be a he could be a bullshitter. We, I don't know, but it's such a good deal at 1,400. I figured, what the hell? So he claims he got it off the original owner and with a bunch of other cars or something like that in trade, and he's not gonna fix this when he's got a '64. Chevy Impala that he's going to restore instead. So he claims that the original owner uh, had the original Chevy rally room stolen off of it in 85 and just put it up on blocks and let it sit. It's been sitting ever since. So in the picture, it's got Oldsmobile rally rims. He, he said he. Uh, had them laying around and just put them on there to roll it and I asked him if he's tried starting it he says no he says I was told that it ran and drove when it was parked in the 85 so he hasn't tried starting it or nothing so this video is going to be if I buy it if I don't buy it I probably won't even post this video but Gonna see if we can get it running, see what it takes. Now it's supposed to only have 75,000 original miles. Uh, it had a vinyl top, which is all peeled off. And he said something about a rust spot up there and a rust hole. Needs a little patch on the driver's side floor. The interior doesn't look that good. Uh, the seat's kind of torn up. Uh, got a dash cover on it. So, I don't know. We'll see. 1400 is pretty cheap, but these are the less sought after El Caminos. The work the less out of all of them, you know. This is, I don't know what series it's called, but it's 73 to 77. Uh, the ones before and after worked a lot more than these. I don't know why. Just because, I don't know. I think they're kind of ugly, but I don't think I'll lose money on it, even if I have to part it out, sell it whole as a project, if it don't run. If it does run, I don't know. We'll see what we'll do. Maybe I'll restore it. Maybe I'll use the engine transmission for something more valuable. I know it's uh, kind of a low horsepower engine but it is, uh, it is a 350 it's got the 350 emblems on it he didn't post a picture of the engine so anyway uh, I'll be back when we uh, go pick it up okay guys here it is got her home 350 but a two barrel and these are the Oldsmobile rally rims he put on it. Uh, not a very good start. It wouldn't roll. Front wood, back wouldn't. The uh, drums were just rusted to the, or the brake shoes were just rusted to the drums. There's one of the drums right there. There's the other one. That's my jack. Um, 
Yeah, so we had to jack it up, use my little jack there to drums and just hammer them. And anyway, it took us a while to get both drums off. And once it was jacked up, there's no notice there's no drive shaft in it. I asked the guy, well, where's the drive shaft? Well, I'll call the uh, guy I got it from and see if he's got it. Uh, it was a sat in a farmer's field since he said 1980, but I it's got some type of or 1985. It's got some type of stickers on it here. I don't know what they're from. What well, says 03? So I don't know. Anyway, give me the original title to it, signed over from the original owner, and that's who he bought it from. The guy said he bought it brand new. So she's a one owner. Missing one lens here. No rust in the bed or the tailgate. He said they usually rust out down there. Yeah, you guys up north are probably drooling. Well, these are what cars look like down here. They don't, they don't get too much rust on them unless they're from up north and they sneak them in. There is a little bit of rust. Uh, I don't think this side's very bad. The, the driver's side's got a little hole right, right here. The interior shot from the sun, of course. Yeah, there's a little hole right there. I have to wait till I get it unloaded. The seat, it can be upholstered, I guess. Got a dash cover on it. It's got a whole bunch of uh, original paperwork in the dash. Uh, the headliner's not too bad. The uh, sun visors need work. I'll wait till I get it unloaded. There's one little rust hole right there in the bottom of the floor. He said that's the only one. So, uh, I guess I have to jack it up and air up this tire. I don't know how it got. Anyway, I air up that tire, get it off the uh, trailer. Well, it's got some Bondo and rust right there. But yeah, other than that, so yeah, them drums being rusted to the uh, brake pads, that tells me she's been sitting for a long time. So we don't know if 85 or whatever this, 03 maybe, with uh, maybe the guy just kept buying tags for it every year. I don't know. I don't know where he got 85 from. And I think it reached 71,000. We'll, we'll look better here when I get it unloaded. So what I'll do is get it unloaded and uh, we'll check out the uh, engine and uh, see if we can get this old turd running. I'll be back. Okay, guys. Just got her off the trailer. Take a peek over. All this stuff here was in the... Uh, Club box, plenty of mouse shit in here, just everywhere. There was even some empty boxes of uh, mice, killer bait stuff. Starter, 45 bucks. Trying to see the date on it, but I am I missing the date? 14th of October 1990. Okay. Oh, there it is there. Okay, so it wasn't 1985.
something in here. Oh, that's a starter shim. Okay. 76 light duty maintenance. Goodyear warranty. Warranty on the tires. Tioga, yeah, Tioga, Texas, 1975. Warranty information. Edna Woodall. Okay, another warranty for his starter. I'm going to X through it. Then the owner's manual. Okay, that was in the glove box. There was something else in there, too. Look at this. Oil 4502. 71,839 miles. Okay, registration right there. 45 2002. Raymond Kruger. Now Raymond Kruger is the name on the title and the title's from 1980. And the guy bought it from claimed that he bought it off Randy Raymond Kruger and he claimed he bought it brand new. And then he got another a title issued in 1980 after it was paid off. Paid the lien off. So I don't know. It looks like He got, he got the tags in April of 2002, and then they expired 2003. So that's what I thought that, uh, that's what I thought, 2003. So it was taken off the road sometime in 2002 before this expired. So only 20 years. You know, I was thinking 85. You smell them mice, kitty? Get them mice. There's a little compartment here for the jack and everything. And uh, there's an extra. That in there. And then the front license plate. Some other little goodies there. That, but there's no hole in the front for that. So, I don't know if you just picked that up. Okay, let's check inside here. This steering wheel is very, very, well, yeah, it's very, very sticky. It's like friggin' glue. Uh, I got an aftermarket Pioneer cassette player. Uh, there's the mileage, 71,862. And I don't know if that's original or it's gone over. It's not terribly bad does have some cracks the headliner is not bad at all just these uh, sun visors got a little aftermarket something here with a Coors light it's pretty damn heavy I don't know what's in there might be a bunch of money or something oh, let's see what we listen to the best, the best of Marlboro Country Music, Volume Volume One. Okie from Muskogee, Texas Women. God bless the USA. 1985 Warner Special Products. Well, this might be a thing saying it was from '85. But anyway, uh, ah, I just grabbed the wheel again. Yeah, that door panel there is kind of screwed up. See if the window rolls up. Yeah, the window rolls up. That door panel's not bad. Okay. 
Well, that's the inside. You know, I was looking at this. It's very, very faded. But the paint's not... Uh, I think it might buff out. I'm usually one for just painting a whole car. But... Um, that's if this thing runs and drives. Let's see here. You can barely read that. Recommended tire. But yeah, if you look at this paint, the only bad spot is this door here. It's got a scratch and that. That actually looks like there's beige under there, but it must be a primer because it's red. You can tell by all these jams door jams and even the roof that it was red okay that's the rust spot he was talking about that little spot and this little spot and they started to peel the the roof off this is the this is the old uh, bondo that the factory uses over the seam so yeah I'll finish pulling that and I was thinking just paint spray paint or not spray paint not 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 can spray fix this and just paint from here up black or something maybe red and buff it out see what it looks like that's if i go to sell it um it starts to say classic it's supposed to be classic here so i guess it is a classic and not a clunker so hopefully that pans out um windshield's not cracked Definitely needs these belt moldings, some rally rims. Okay, let's take a peek. This was just laying in there. That's a little heat. The heat thing went from something that's broke down there to the bottom of this air cleaner. Uh, this thing, I'm not sure, looks to be stapled onto this. Anyway, I don't want to break that. Um, definitely got some mouse chewing there, chewing there. Uh-oh. Oh, that might be to here. If you can see that. There might be a fuse there. Uh, battery. Yeah, side post, negative, positive. Tons of rat crap in there, just foot thick. Okay, let's take a peek underneath this air cleaner. These look like body ground straps, but uh, what the hell they're doing up there? Unless they put them up there to... Maybe they were chewed off We put them on here to not to lose them. Hopefully this air cleaner has protected the carburetor from mice crap. Yeah, see these are body grounds. See the rats must have ate them up. Put them there. Uh, yeah, that's what the thing here, 352 barrel. Little timing and spark gap. Spark gap's 045. Okay, let's... Ugh. Nice and clean under there. Oh yeah, she looks pretty clean. Look at all this mice shit here. Not to vacuum that up. And then all this here is all uh, crap. I have to get my uh, some dirt daubers. Get my vacuum out of here. Vacuum out here. There's a little vacuum line deteriorated. Um, got the eight factory AC he showed me the dipstick oh here it is here he said there was no chunks in there she's full well I don't know if we want to do an oil change on it we will but I mean before we start it we'll do one after um check oh yeah look at these spark plug wires 
but they're all eaten off. They're all eaten everywhere. That proves it hasn't been started. Okay, we'll have to take we'll have to take this air cleaner up here. these wires I I should have a set around somewhere all these damn junk cars I got but I don't know yeah she's eating up real bad okay I don't know about these wires here they don't look too bad Except for that one. So I think that one goes to that. Uh, there's two, two eating there, but that's probably to the blower or something. Not gonna worry too much about that. Windshield wiper ones, what, uh, not gonna worry too much about that. There's one hose eating right there. I got a box of caps. I'll put a cap on that. Uh, Alternator wires a little bit nibbled. Okay. Let's see if she's got anything in her. I can't see in there. Okay, guys. Well... I'm going to uh, bring my vacuum over, vacuum all that crud out of there, see if I can round up some spark plug wires. Um, we'll get a battery. I'm gonna clean all this crap out of here. Get a battery and try to crank it. Usually I would drain the oil and change it and then just take out all the spark plugs and squirt some uh, WD-40 or whatever oil down each cylinder and then crank it over um, real good and then put the spark new spark plug wires and spark plugs in it and uh, see if it'll start but I don't know I think we'll just put a battery in it and see if it cranks or I could just put a bolt uh, socket harmonic balancer bolt and try to turn it over by hand. I could try that. Either way, I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay. Well, I'll be back when I get that done. Okay, guys. Lots of uh, more wires and stuff neveled. Where was... I think these are for the uh, temperature control things they're eating up okay I took the little cover that holds them on took that off these are grounds <laughs> ones right there I can't believe they chewed them off okay um, firing orders right there and I got it written Wrote it right there, and what's on the distributor to goes to, you know, his driver's side, 7531, passenger 8642. So you just follow these wires, you know, one to one, two to two, and so on. So that's what we're gonna do. I think they all gotta be replaced. <laughs> they are all chewed up real bad. I rounded these up I had in my shop but they don't have the uh, the little nipple that goes through this I still have a little nipple but they should work um, 
most of them are good a couple of them are chewed up by by rats that's probably why I replaced them uh, I forget where yeah like right here nibbled up by the rats but they should work so uh, what else did I yeah that's all the crap that I got just from the battery battery tray is actually pretty good once I cleared all that crap out of there okay um I don't know about the starter wires or anything I hope they're not chewed up or arcing but anyway uh let me change over them spark plug wires and I think we'll hook up a battery and give her a shot so I'll be back okay guys there's all the eating spark plugs I'm gonna save the little uh, separators here but I didn't put them on for now in fact those aren't the right wires anyway they do clip on there pretty good okay I think this is the float here. A little bit in there. Okay, let's give her a shot. Actually sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. I think that was the float there because it run for what, a minute. Try her again. First start in at least 20 years. idling a little click in her exhaust leak right over here but I think that'll probably go away I plugged off the vacuum to the distributor that line and I uh, see this is and this line here it that's probably where it goes I'm gonna check on another car it, it may go from there to there I thought this was a vacuum line but it was a, a adjustment and I uh, actually probably got that out of alignment or whatever so those will have to be set but actually it runs pretty good there's a blower motors on um, a little clicking it seemed to stop for a second it probably will right in here but uh hell I don't even think it smoked Well, I don't want to run it for very long. There's no drive shaft in it, which means there's probably no transmission fluid in it. So, I may mess with it a little bit more. Um, stick an old drive shaft yoke in there, fill it up with fluid, then run it for longer, and put some water in it. Make sure, you know, make sure it doesn't have a blown head gasket or anything like that. Uh, you know, let it warm up really good and make sure it doesn't have any head gasket problems. Uh, 
I think that's probably about it. Well, we'll make sure it goes into gear if I fill it up with fluid. Make sure the transmission's good. Other than that, I think we got a we got a runner. Um, the gas tank did smell like varnish. It stinks. But it's clean. But, uh, yeah, I, I got some junk cars with half tanks of gas in them. I'm going to drain one out and put it in this. The gas isn't that old. It's only like two weeks old. And, uh, put, a, you know, five gallons, ten gallons of gas in here. Let it run up. It may clog up. I'll change the filter. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where the filter is in this, but. So that's what I'm going to do later on. Put a bunch of gas in it, change a filter, put some water in it, put some transmission fluid in it, put a yoke in it, all that stuff. But I think we got a runner here, and the guy I bought it from said he's going to contact the guy he got it from, see if he can find the drive shaft. Now, he said he had it over to his place from Gainesville, which is about an hour away. And I was thinking that his tow truck driver probably took that drive shaft out because the rear wheels were locked up. So I have to I have to tell him to uh, ask his tow truck driver. Okay, so let me know what you think. Think it's worth 1400? I know we just got it running, but that's really all the video is going to be about. Just getting it running, make sure it wasn't seized up. I know I could have went through a whole long procedure of what them other guys do. Disconnect the gas line, put a gas tank on there, external gas tank. Take all the spark plugs out, squirt it with oil, let it sit overnight. But I'll tell you what, these old Chevys, I had a 75 Corvette and it sat for 20 years, just like this one. And uh, it was just, somebody tore it apart, was gonna restore it, and it was just a mess. It was not worth fixing this Corvette. Plus I needed a, a parts car for my 77. And he told me, he said, oh, it runs perfect. Well, it run perfect 20 years ago, he said. And all I did was uh, pour some gas down the carburetor, turn the key, and the thing fired right up, just like this one. So I know some engines, and plus it was clean. You know, if it didn't have an air cleaner on it, like my uh, Aspen RT, and rats got in there, and it, my carburetor was just filled full of crap that you'd have to take it apart rebuild the carburetor uh, and that's what i did with with i put on a new holly in the rt pulled out the plugs soaked it with oil and all that so some cars you have to do that but this one i was pretty safe I, pretty safe that i wasn't going to do any damage to it since it was all sealed up and everything and we give her give her a shot i was just going to really just turn it over and go from there I, but Everything sealed up so good. Distributor, no crap got in there. It fired right up. So we had, we already had spark. Filled up the uh, float with fuel. She fired right up. So, uh, yeah, let me know if it, you think it was a good deal. Think it's worth fixing. See, the problem is these car, these, like I said, uh, uh, the 73, 77s are worth the less. I have a, I have an 82. I had an 85 I bought for a flip, bought it for 2300 All I did was actually just put a paint job on it, and I sold it for 85 So those style from 78 to 87 you can get about 8500 for them. You'd be very hard-pressed to get that for, for this 73 to 77 And, of course, the 68 to 72s, a lot of money. Not as much as a Chevelle, but upwards to 20 grand but these ones these are the poor they don't get no love so i don't know should i give it some love guys it's got a little rust spot there i could either buff it out just paint the roof fix this rust yeah oh there's a rust hole right there too get this down put some fiberglass and pour 15 in there and just kind of paint the roof buff it out uh, sell it as is or just do a full restoration on it 
but the problem is I don't think they make any parts for these like door panels but I could recover them uh, I could put in some bucket seats I could repair the dash I've done that a few videos on repairing dashes uh, new carpet be no problem uh, he said there's a headliner looks pretty good I can get some sun visors uh, got a lot of good points to it no cracks in the windshield that I can see I don't have to buy one of them I uh, would have to really look and make sure there's no hail damage stuff like that but I mean I don't know the bumpers good chrome's good this headlight needs to be popped in there so let me know if you think it's a good deal, think I should fix it up, think I should just sell it as is, make a quick profit. I have to get a drive shaft. Because if I can get it drivable, get a lot more money for it. So I'm going to have to hunt around for one. But yeah, she's pretty straight. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to show you that from Sanger, Texas. That's, uh, uh, is it east? East of Dallas, something like that. Anyway, it's a Texas car. All its life I think that paperwork in the dash said it where it was bought oh yeah yeah it was bought in whatever it was Texas so it's a, a original Texas car not some northern car that's been brought down here so yeah let me know I know you northern guys are probably drooling over this there's that rust hole right there I think I showed you. He said it's the only one, but I'll have to inspect it a lot, a lot better. But that would make sense. The water dripping in. This is the little cargo area there. It probably dripped in and made a hole. But okay, we know it runs. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Like, comment, share, all that stuff, and. Uh, I'll be back with another video real soon. I don't know about this one, but I, I got to restore my Nomad first. But if you want want to see me do this for the next project, freshen her up, let me know. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next video.